Okay, morning everyone, lovely day, and we've got a maiden flight, so tune in, see what I'm maiden in today, roll the intro. Yeah, maiden flight. I've had this for weeks and weeks. I haven't been able to fly it because of the weather. And what it is, is the E-Flight UMX pits. And um, it's running on a 3S 300 mAh Spectrum battery. Um, I don't know how it's gonna go, because one seems pretty good and one seems pretty crappy. So uh, there you go. Um, gonna have to hand launch it, unfortunately. And I'll just quickly uh, run and to say what the CG is, the CG is 32.5 millimeters from the front leading edge of the top wing and as I said it runs on a 3S 300 mAh uh, LiPo. I spoke to Adam from Model Aviator and he said that he puts the battery right up to the motor mount which is as far forward as it can go so I've gone with that if, if it's good enough for Adam I'm sure it'll be good enough for me so uh, there you go and really, without further ado, the only thing left to do is is, uh, is fly the thing. So okay then, right. So Z, don't know what to expect. Let's give it a go there. Sounds like a little bee. Well, I've never flown. This type of UMX plane before, so I don't know what to expect. And I'm not scared to say that it's unsafe because I know small planes can be very, very, very twitchy and difficult to fly. So, and for the maiden. How long can these ones fly for? Well, this one is. It says five minutes, so and right off the bat, you know, she's uh, flying lovely. Lots of power, Adam said, you know, on 3S, it goes very well, so. Giving my back a workout. Okay, right, so... Oh, what I was doing then was just checking out the rates. I'm not sure what she's going to film like, because she's so small. And I'm keeping her high a minute as well, so... Because I'm... Uh, just, you know, running myself through things, so. Okay, so she's, as you can see, she's in uh, AS3X now. Oh, she's a bit lively. Because I'm nervous as well, my thumbs are just... Uh, Pitching away where well. the thing is though the UMX plane is small so you've got to expect it to be difficult but there you are difficult to film flying nice tremendous roll rate now oh, the wind has picked up a little bit now so 
just feel it uh, getting a little bit more blustery. Well, for landing, I'm not sure what to do. I don't know whether to go for just try and prop it down or whether mm. to go for a, a, a boat in the long grass. Yeah, not Roman sure. villa style. I don't want to uh, damage it at all. I know it hasn't got much flying mass, but... Yeah, she's flying amazing, you know, so... I'm going to put it back in the safe because I tell you why I'm getting bit at the moment with a fly on my hand so and I'm going to use safe for landing as well because uh, landing it for the first time now wind has just significantly picked up since I've been made in this I would say long grass, but... Oh, well, mm. down. Upside yeah, I think down. should have been on a board in the long grass, actually. Yep. Okay then, so there you go. Successful. Apart from the landing, maiden flight of the pits from E-Flight, UMX pits. I'm quite surprised, actually. Flew lovely. Uh, I was a little bit nervous. But I've, you know, I managed to get it up safe, get into AS3X, some aileron rolls, some loops, and yeah, flew fantastic. So uh, there you go. Thanks, Adam. We had a little bit of communication over email, and he gave me a few tips on battery placement and so on, and uh, yeah, everything worked well. So uh, there you go. Okay, right. So. Okay then, so I'm going to give it another flight now, the uh, E-Flight pits, the UMX pits. Um, yeah, I didn't know what to expect, but the Maiden, I really enjoyed it, it was good. So um, I'm not sure really which, which way the wind is blowing today, but I'm going to have another flight now before it gets, before it gets too windy. Um, I'm going to launch it in safe again. So. What I'm doing now is just an effort for Shadow to be able to film and just going to keep it in a little bit closer because it is very very quick so it took me by surprise actually now JB one of the channels I watch who's over in Canada He's had a couple of these and he absolutely loves them. And he's just bought the, I think it's the FMS 800 millimeter pits, but he hasn't done the Maiden yet, which I've been uh, waiting for, but I'm sure he'll uh, get a chance because their weather's been pretty, pretty bad as well. So. Was that shadow a bit better? Yeah, it's done half shift. Yeah, and that's about quarter throttle there, so. for a bit of a... She's not going to do a low and slow. Yeah, she will. Let's see how fast she goes then. Eh? Full, full power pass there. Eh? She's not bad. Yeah, very, very impressed. Uh, I think Adam knew I would be, so... Uh, let's try and get a low and slow then for Shadow. Yeah, 
very very nice. reacting a little bit more now because the wind as I said is just just picked up a little bit now yeah, and she don't weigh much oh as I said wind all right everybody Ian's fingers are not experienced for flying the pits and I've just perfectly shown the beauty of safe because that was getting um, I was losing coordination then and it was getting away from me pretty quick and with just a flick of a finger she self-leveled and that's why you know i'm a big fan of uh setting safe up even if you don't use it and quite often i don't use safe just as3x but that was the classic example of when to use safe because uh safe just saved my umx pits and i'm not ashamed to say as well that could have been just uh the walk of shame then. You know, we're very, very sporty playing like this. It's uh, quite a new experience for me, so although I've been flying for years, I'm not a very, very adventurous pilot, and uh, sometimes just that, just tootling around trying to make a plane look scale, but uh, there you go. Just getting a bit of a workout now with the wind, so. Bring it back around for another low and slow then. But she did look very, very pretty on that pass. Yeah, lovely little plane. All right, okay, I think we're going to go for the long grass landing this time, Shadow. So, yeah, on the gonna, edge. Gonna rotate around. I'm going to try and move through the edge, but uh, Okay, there you go. She's down. Whether it's safe, I don't know until I have a look, but it's better than landing and maybe snapping the clock, so. And she's on the edge. Don't have to tackle through the nettles. Right, there you go. Gonna live the fight another day. Just a little bit of long grass stuff in in the uh, aileron. So uh, there you go. Yeah, really nice. Really pleased. Flew lovely. Uh, unfortunately there, got a little bit out of hand and I quickly just, with when I get a plane that comes with safe select, I very nearly always, always, you know, select safe and AS3X because that's, that's the classic example there, you know, you saw it in action, I got, out the, I got into trouble, I lost um, orientation of the plane, so I just flicked the switch, I could see then which way the plane was going and I turned it around and I brought it back safe. There you go, so maiden flight to the pits uh, from me flight, I really enjoyed that. And now I'm gonna go back to fly in my PA18 Super Cub now. So thank you very much for watching, bye. Bye.